Hello students. In the last video, we found out that if you have two lines that are parallel to each other, their gradients are the same. It turns out there's also a connection between the gradients of lines that are perpendicular, which unfortunately is um, not quite as uh, easy to see. But by the time we finish this video, you'll know everything you need to know about it. Okay, to start with, we need to do a quick review of reciprocals. Now, the main feature of reciprocals, let me just write a fraction here like um, two thirds. The main feature of reciprocals is if you multiply them together. So the reciprocal of two thirds, if you remember, just means swapping the numerator and denominator. So reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. And if you multiply reciprocals together, oops, I can't multiply. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, you always get 1. So, a number times this reciprocal equals 1. Okay, what's the reciprocal of 3 over 5? Well, again, we swap the numerator and denominator, and we get 5 over 3. What's the reciprocal of 4? Well, first we have to write that as a fraction, 4 over 1. And its reciprocal is 1 quarter. What's the reciprocal of negative 2 on 7? Well, let's write that first with the negative sign on top. And then the reciprocal of that's going to be 7 on negative 2. But a better way to write that would be to put the negative sign in the numerator. So positive divided by negative is negative. Negative divided by positive is a negative. So you can put the negative sign on top. Okay, and as I pointed out up here, if you multiply a number times its reciprocal, in every case, you get 1. In fact, I'll leave the negative sign out the front. That'll save having to worry about moving it around. That makes a lot more sense. Negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 7 is 14. And even if the number is fraction is negative, you still get 1 when you multiply a number times its reciprocal. Okay, let's have a look at two perpendicular lines, which if you hopefully remember, perpendicular means they meet at 90 degrees. So I need to find the gradient of AB. So let's put a couple of points on it probably there and there. Let's go ahead and draw in the triangle. So there and there. And let's do the rise over the run. So the rise is 1, 2, 3, 4. The run, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this case, the gradient of AB is rise over run, which is 4 over 6, which is simplifies to 2 over 3. Okay, let's do the same thing for, let's do the same thing for CD, but what I might do is just get out my eraser and get rid of that so it doesn't clutter up the, uh, doesn't clutter up the grid. And let's go ahead and plot the points for C and D. So there's C, there's D. Let's draw the triangle. So, whoa, that's not real good. Let's draw the triangle like so. And once again, let's do rise over run. So the rise to get from C to D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But because I'm going down, it's negative 6. And the run is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's in a positive direction. And that simplifies to negative 3 halves. So there's the gradient of AB is 2 thirds. The gradient of CD is negative 3 halves. What do you notice about those two answers? I'll have a little think about it. 
you can stop the video if you want. Okay, let's see what I've got uh, written down here. Okay, if the line CD is perpendicular to the line AB, which it is, then the gradient of CD is what's called the negative reciprocal of AB. In other words, the reciprocal of AB, AB is two thirds, the reciprocal of that is three halves, but this positive number changed into a negative number. So it's called the negative reciprocal. Similarly, if I start with a negative and find the negative reciprocal, the negative of a negative becomes a positive. And we want to say the same thing um, a bit more algebraically. We can say if CD is perpendicular to AB, that's the symbol that you read it as is perpendicular to, and if the gradient of AB is P over Q, then the gradient of CD is negative Q on P. So that's the nice algebraic way or mathematical way of saying that. Probably to start with, that's probably clearer, but that in a way is probably more concise. Okay, same um, as based on the last slide, the gradient of AB is two thirds. Gradient of CD is negative three on two. And when we multiply those two gradients together, like so, two times negative three is negative six, and three times two is positive six. And it turns out we're always gonna get one. So if you have two lines that are perpendicular to each other, and you multiply their gradients, you always get one for the answer. So to summarize, with perpendicular lines, the product, that means to multiply, the product of the gradient of two perpendicular lines is always negative one. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can use that to answer this question. these questions just here. So find the gradient of a line perpendicular to each of the following. So the gradient of this line is the coefficient on x, which is four. So I can write m equals four. And the coefficient on a line perpendicular that, to that, so I'm gonna write m and use that little perpendicular sign and we know that it is the negative reciprocal. So the reciprocal of four is one over four and the negative reciprocal is negative one quarter. So if we've got the line y equals four x plus three, the line, sorry, the gradient of a line and the gradient of that line is four, the gradient of a line perpendicular to it is negative one on four. Okay, this one's a slightly harder question. We have to rewrite this, making y the subject. And then we go. We can go ahead and use the same idea as we use there. So let's go ahead and make this in the form y equals. So I'll change that to plus a negative. And then I can take away the three x to start with from both sides. That crosses out. That leaves me with negative five y equals 10 subtract 3x, divide everything through by negative 5, negative 5, negative 5. Okay, let's simplify. So they cross out, leaving just a y. 10 divided by negative 5, well, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Positive divided by negative is a negative. And here we have, again, plus negative. So we've got negative divided by negative is positive. And we've got 3 fifths x. So there we go. So that's that equation rewritten in the form y equals, well, in this case, c plus mx. And the point of all of that was to say the gradient of this line is 3 over 5. So the gradient of a line perpendicular to it is the negative reciprocal of that. So we just 
swap the numerator and denominator. And because that's positive, it becomes negative. So we're not going to do too much with this um, in year nine, but if you're doing 10 advanced maths next year, um, this will become uh, quite useful to you.